good. <laughs> um, I got two awesome stories for you today. Uh, <laughs> someone, uh, after calling Fuji Tech Support, really nice guy I talked to. After calling Fujifilm Tech Support, uh, and they didn't know anything, <laughs> asking a question about his XT2 and his 50 to 140, um, he wanted me to call him, and I called him, and, uh, you know, I immediately knew what his issue was, and it wasn't really an issue, but I immediately knew what it was he was talking about. You see, here's my question. If, uh, uh um, hmm, let's see. If uh, Joe Schmuck is much, much better in tech support than the people at Fujifilm, that kind of, <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, specifically, I made a video about this like a year and a half ago. I've been doing this for 20 years. Uh, I won't say which company up in New York, uh, which reminds me of a Miley Cyrus song. Was it I Adore You? I Adore, Adore, Adore? Yeah, I won't mention which company. Uh, they do this. They'll take a lens, which of course has some padding on it, styrofoam, right? But, you know, not the way UPS and FedEx drop kicks those damn things. Just threw the box of that lens in another box with no padding and shipped it to him. And now his very, 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 which is going back, but, you know, as he tells me, his very, very expensive Fujifilm lens. I won't say which lens it is because I don't want to give too much information out about the guy. Well over a $1,400 lens, okay? Now his aperture ring is uh, had kinks in part of uh, its range. Yeah. Now, if it was tight all the way through the range, that's one thing. Okay, you know, that was factory specs. So, yeah. These people, he, you ask me, you know, why do you like Robert's camera so much? You know, you'll pull your hair out digging to your package. That's how well it is packed. You, you Did you think I was, like, lying about that or something? I told him, I said, uh, he told me, actually, the only reason he bought it from that store uh, you know which one I'm talking about. It's because he had a gift certificate there that needed to be spent there, which is understandable. Whew. I even talked to the manager of that store like a year ago. And I said, you know, I, you, know you guys were doing this back in photography school. I mean, how do you, how do you get in the way with that? Stop doing that stuff. He's like, yeah, 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 we need to fix that. It's like, yeah, it's been going on for decades. It's like, it's, it's not like some... One time incident. I made a video about this over a year ago. The guy I talked to today, yeah, okay. His really expensive lens is damaged. You don't take a lens, it's like, okay, I know the lens has got some styrofoam around it, right? And it's in a really, really, really thin cardboard box. The lens, you know what a freaking lens box is like. But you don't take that and toss it into a larger box and then seal it up. You're like, brum, 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 you know, rattling around in there like dice in a cup. You know, in Las Vegas, you know what I'm talking about? They shake up the dice. You don't ship stuff like that. Not when it comes to precision optics, goddammit. Wake the hell up. What the hell is wrong with you people? Stop doing that. Or don't. As they always say, I think Yahoo stands for you always have other options. And by all the other options, my recommendation to you is to shop at Robert's camera. No, I don't get any kickbacks from Robert's. I don't get anything from him. I'm telling you, those people... Sell it to you for the same price, better customer service, and they absolutely won't send it like rolling around inside of another bigger box. You see that drop kicking everywhere from here to Timbuktu via FedEx or UPS or post office. You know how much those packages get, you know, kicked around? You don't ship precision optics that way, man. You know? You just don't. So, yeah. Told you about to told you about that a year ago, and here's another perfect example of why you should be buying from Robert's camera. Yes. As soon as he told me that, I was like, "Oh, I know who you ordered it from." Yeah, and of course, I knew exactly who it was. Whew. How could a company be doing that for decades? It's just like, I don't care. I mean, that's what they're doing. It's like, I don't care. You know, it's already paid for. It's like, throw it in the box, seal up the box, kick it out the door, boom! Yeah, I'll do that to Precision Optics. That sounds like a really good way to get positive uh, customer feedback. 
That's what we call eh. That's a failure. I'm right, and you know I'm right. <laughs> Jesus Christ.